Now, I'd like to begin by thanking you, the Nike Board of Directors, for welcoming me here today. As many of you know, my name is Ben Tedford, and I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Nike Shoe Corporation. Now, it's come to my attention some horrifying news. Our esteemed colleague, Rick here, the Vice President of Research and Design, has been consistently and continually taking credit for one of his intern's ideas. Now, here at Nike, I have much, much, much faith in our company. As you know, I came from Reebok, and Rick here came from Adidas. So we've been hating each other ever since we got here. <laughs> but since we got to Nike, we put our hate aside and worked together. And this competition between us has pushed our performance to do the best for Nike. Now, in realizing this situation in which he's continually taking credit for another person's work, I had some values that got brought up some values that came into conflict. Now, in trying to understand how to approach this situation to the board, I thought I would do some research. So, to begin, I found a 2012 study by Trends in Employee Engagement that showed that employee recognition is actually the leading engagement driver for young employees. So, if we, the executives, continually take credit for those beneath us, what motivation do they have to work? Why should they keep being creative and busting their butt, giving us ideas for our company, if we completely undermine them? What's to stop them from going to our competition, like Puma, or God forbid Adidas, <laughs> and giving them these ideas? Now, aside from this research article, I also found another. Again, a 2012 article, this one was a study by Deloitte, showed that companies with an effective employee recognition program saw a 31% lower voluntary turnover rate in their company. So what I just said was true. If we don't show our employees that both we respect and appreciate the work they do for us, they'll leave, they'll go somewhere else. So with this in mind, I believe we should give any employee recognition and appreciation for the work they do. Whether it's an idea, a plan of action, or any way that they would put their neck on the line for us, it needs to be commended. So, after doing this research, I had some values. Some values that came into conflict. These values were teamwork. Now, here at Nike Shoe Company, I believe that any success we have is because we all work together. It's the collective success of all the small parts. So, research and design does their part to make the best shoes we can. I and my team do my part in marketing to make sure it's a, suit, a shoe that you, the customers, will buy. And all the other branches do their part as well. We cannot succeed if only one part of, us, only one part of our team does its part. So, with this in mind, I understand that Rick taking credit for his subordinates' work may have just been in good faith to the collective whole of Nike. But, I also understand that as a fellow intern myself about 25 years ago, <laughs> that I like to be recognized for the work I do. I want someone to pat me on the back and let, the, let, let them show me that I'm appreciated. Because if no one knows I'm doing well, what's my chances of being promoted or succeeding in this company? So with this in mind, it came to my second value, which was appreciation. Now, with any employee, if you do a good job, you want to be known for it. If you do a bad job, you certainly don't want to be known for it. <laughs> so it can't go one way and not the other. So with this in mind, Molly, thank you again for being here today. I know it's put you on the spot, but I believe your presence here today is a testimony and can actually pave the way for fellow interns down the road to really make a difference. So thank you, Molly. But so with that in mind, I decided to put my values into action. And that was I would come to you, the Nike Board of Directors, with this problem, let you know how I feel about it, hopefully get Rick fired, <laughs> and then we can move on as a whole. Because at Nike Shoe Company, all we worry about is feet. And here, we got to make sure we put our best foot forward. That was a joke. So, <laughs> so in conclusion, you know I've done the research. You know, I've had strong values about this for the company as a whole and for its small parts and turns included. You know, these values are in conflict and you know I wanted to bring it to you to really make a difference. 
So I hope you, the board, can make the best decision for our employees as a whole. Because even for an intern, when you work at Nike, you want to make sure you start off on the right foot. I didn't know that. <laughs> what specifically are you asking of the board? I'm asking the board to instate a program we can, or maybe not even program, but just we begin the practice of recognizing our employees for anything they do, contribution-wise. Whether it's small things, big things, anything that would help the company, it shouldn't just be a team effort. It should be a chance for employees to develop themselves professionally and be recognized in a sense that they may be promoted for this later. Ben, were you uh, informing the board of the situation or seeking action from us? Well, since it was an ethical dilemma, I think I just wanted to really bring it out there, let us all wrestle it together, and then hopefully persuade the board to fire Rick and <laughs> help my the intern as well as other interns in the future. Okay. So I guess it was more of a a building block for future situations like this. How do you expect the interns to be recognized? Are they going to have to be every week at the idea box, or how, how should they be Well, as I started the speech, I broke it down into me being the VP of Marketing and Rick being the VP of Research and Design. So I would hope that it would go from here to where the leaders of each division would recognize the contributions of each member in a sense that not only is there like collective success, but also like, hey, you know, you did a great job with that idea. I would have never thought about that. Congrats. I'm going to let other people know about that. Almost in a sense, like, spread the word. we got good employees we don't want to lose. Any other questions? My heart's beating like a drop. Okay, let's hear it for Ben. One more time.